Am I wrong for telling my mom that she's insane for trying to get pregnant again? For context, I, 22 male, have two siblings, 22 female and 23 female. And I am the youngest, the youngest twin, but we are all adults now. This all started a few years ago when my oldest sister got pregnant with my nephew. It was the first baby of our generation and of course everyone was overjoyed it was a boy because they were so rare in the family. I won't sugarcoat it. My sister was foiled during her pregnancy. She was driven to all of her doctor's appointments. Nearly every day, someone was buying something new. With every craving, someone was ready to go get it. And she even had two baby showers. When my nephew was born, it was the happiest my family had been since my grandma died. My mom, however, wasn't. Every time someone would do something for my sister, she expected it for herself. I remember I bought my sister a pedicure and paid extra for a foot massage. And my mother was pissed at me for days for not getting her one. I'm the baby's grandma, she would say constantly. We all ignored her for the sake of my nephew. Well, my mom just recently sat me and my siblings down and explained how she wanted to try getting pregnant again. She wasn't asking for our opinion, more like informing us that it was going to happen. My sister was excited for someone who could be a playmate for her son. My twin was hesitant and I was livid. For privacy reasons, I won't give my mother's medical history, but just that is enough for concern, not to mention the fact that she's 40 plus years old. I asked her how she planned to live if she couldn't work while pregnant as my father had never been in the picture. Well, one of my kids shouldn't mind taking care of me. I asked her how she planned to take care of a baby when she's back to work. Someone in the family can babysit. I asked her how she planned on buying baby stuff because she's not good with saving money at all. Everyone will pitch in for the baby like they did with your sister. And no, they wouldn't. My mom has burned quite a lot of bridges for her emotional immaturity. Well, I can see why. And one very high-risk pregnancy will not change that. Not to mention the fact that my siblings and I were raised by our grandparents because she couldn't. So, I sat her down and tried to explain how this would be a terrible idea for everyone involved. But, she got upset and started yelling about how I need to be supportive and I'm just jealous because I won't be the youngest anymore. I let my emotions get ahead of me and I called her insane and left. My siblings and family have called to tell me that I need to apologize and that I was way out of line. I don't have to like her trying for another baby, but I need to be supportive. Which I feel like would be the case if we were talking about literally anyone else, but nobody else thinks the same. So, am I the asshole? For more info, I don't know how my mom intends to get pregnant. She wouldn't be approved for IVF and she's never had a consistent relationship. My guess is that she's just planning on sleeping around. Also, she's 43 going on 44. My guess is she's counting on the it takes a village mindset to help her with a child. My sister got special treatment for being pregnant because one, she was having a boy. Two, because she was busting her ass as a single mother, student, and working full time. And three, her baby's father was a piece of shit who dipped. My ex-boyfriend is threatening to expose our SEX tape if I don't get back with him. Disclaimer is not my story time. If sent on me on Instagram. I broke up with my ex three months ago and it's become my personal nightmare. We actually only dated for six months on and off. At the time, I didn't know it, but he was definitely love bombing me from the beginning. At the time, I didn't even know what that was. Not until I started watching TikTok. We met at a bar, which is the worst place to meet a guy, by the way. He was all over me the first night he met me. He was trying to kiss my neck and he even tried to grab my butt. I told him he needed to calm down and he did. The following week, he managed to get a hold of my friend on Instagram and he convinced my friend to give him my number and my stupid ass friend gave it to him. He was extremely manipulative too. I later found out that my friend had a crush on him so she was just trying to give him my number so she had an excuse to talk to him. Once this man got my number it was a constant barrage of text messages. He would text me every single morning. He would send me selfies and all of this without my permission. I've only dated broke guys in the past and my ex has a lot of money so I decided to go out with him just to get a free dinner. Biggest mistake of my life. He forced a kiss on me on our first date part two is up. He actually forced me to kiss him on our first date. Story time about how my ex is threatening to expose our SEX tape if I don't get back with him. Disclaimer is not my story time instead of an Instagram. After he forced me to kiss him, I slapped him and he liked it. He actually said, I like that. I know this sounds terrible, but I kind of liked it. So then I went on a second date with him. He was really quick to do the dirty. He would always be grabbing or touching me. Anytime we were alone, even if it was for five seconds, this man would just pounce on me. He was literally and utterly obsessed with SEX. Don't get me wrong, it definitely was overwhelming, but I had never been with somebody who was so passionate. But then came the jealousy. He was constantly worried about who I was with. He was always showing up to places where I told him I'd be. Even if I was having dinner with friends, this man would show up. He would show up uninvited to my house. Before I knew it, five months had passed. This is when my parents started trying to convince me to break up with him. They hated that he always came around to the house even when we were all having dinner. He would just show up and sit down with us. My father especially hated him. He would also grab me in front of my parents and try to do stuff. Part three is up.
In front of my parents, he would always try to kiss me and touch me. My father hated this guy. Story time about how my ex is threatening to expose our SCX tape if I don't get back with him. One night I go over to his apartment, which he lives in a penthouse, and he tells me that he has something fun planned for us. I went into his bedroom and he had this whole setup. Cameras, panes tied to the bed, handcuffs. It was like 365 days in there for 50 shades of gray. This man knew how to get me to do whatever he wanted. He started kissing my neck and we started doing it. I knew the camera was there, but it didn't bother me. I never thought that he would ever try to use it against me. Fast forward three weeks later, I break up with him. He decides to start stalking me and then sends me the video. He told me he'd give it to me if I went to his apartment. I go to his apartment and he basically attacks me. Pushes me down on the couch and tries to do it with me. Then he told me that if I didn't get back with him, he'd expose me. I got back with him. He's on his best behavior. What should I do? I hired an escort for my brother with Down syndrome last month. I don't regret it and he still smiles about it. I'm 30 and my little brother is 24. He's honestly the best brother I could have asked for. I still remember the day he was born and holding my newborn baby brother when I was a kid. As we grew up, I always knew he was different, but he's my brother and I love him and I wouldn't change him. He's honestly one of my best friends and having a brother with Down syndrome, especially one like him, has made me a better person. Last month, my parents went out of town for a few days and they asked if I'd stay with my brother and take care of the house. While he might have Down syndrome, he's not entirely helpless, he just can't really be on his own like that. So of course I agreed and brought my PS5 over and some games, snacks, and beer and I called out of work for a few days and figured we'd have some fun just like when we were kids. We were having a great time and were talking their first day while taking turns playing Elden Ring and my brother started the game and got to the part where the guy calls you maidenless and I said something like, ooh, he called you maidenless bro, damn. And my brother got super sad looking and I asked him what was wrong and he said, I am maidenless. I'll never have a girlfriend. So we talked about that for a bit and he was actually feeling super depressed because he's never had a girlfriend and didn't think he ever would. We kind of talked it out and he was really sad and I decided, fuck it, we can find him a girl. I called a couple of people I knew who were into that sort of thing to see if they knew anyone. You have people on your What? Well, one of my buddies had a number of this girl, so I gave her a call. She was actually super sweet and understanding about the situation, and she said she'd be glad to show my brother a good time for her usual rate. She had a cousin with Down syndrome, so she was very sympathetic. I told my brother I'd paid a girl to come over and show him some fun on the condition that our parents will die without knowing I hired a prostitute to come to their house. He agreed. So I made plans for her to come over, got my brother shaved, and showered for his date. She showed up dressed up super nice and she was also super hot. I'm no chef, but I had picked up some food from Olive Garden for them. She was a genuinely nice person and was really good with him and I just left them to do their thing while I played the PlayStation in the living room. Eventually they passed by going upstairs to his room. I put my headphones on and kept playing. Eventually they came back down and both had big smiles on their faces. She hung out with us a bit, then it was time for her to go. I handed her the cash plus some extra as a bonus. She said my brother was a sweetheart and that I was a good brother to do something like that for him and that she had a good time. She handed me back half the cash. Eventually, my parents came back and thankfully are none the wiser as my mother especially would probably kill me. My brother is super appreciative and said it was the most fun he'd ever had. I have no regrets. Am I the asshole for wanting to rehome our three cats my wife's attached to? Aww. My 28 female wife, 29 female, and I have been together for three years and married for one. Prior to us being together, she was very anti-pets, zero interest. But I'd always wanted a cat and with heavy persuasion from me, ended up getting a Bengal from a breeder. She turned out to be very skittish, so we got her a Bengal sibling to maybe help. Neither of them are super cuddly, so we added a calico who is. My wife feeds them, I do litter box, water, meds, and Google solutions to any issues. We just bought a house, and I do most of the cleaning, vacuuming, dusting, etc. Am I the asshole for wanting to rehome our three cats my wife's attached to? I felt discontent with the cat since we moved because I have to clean constantly to stay on top of shed, hair, the mess, all of it. They randomly throw up on the rugs and poop on the hardwood floor. And yes, I went to the vet and nothing was wrong. They've actually ripped out the bottom of a new sofa and scratched up the other. And my wife frets about the cats being sad when we do go out of town even though my sister watches them for free. All in all, I'm over them and want to rehome them responsibly. My wife doesn't want to rehome them and is very attached, but I told her she needs to help clean and I haven't seen that happen. So, am I wrong? I'm with Asa for not giving my brother the photos of our mom when she married his dad. I'm 32 and I have two half-brothers. 
who were 50 and 54. My mom was married to their father for 20 years and then later married my dad. My grandmother came to visit us and brought pictures of my mom from the wedding day to my brother's dad. I saw them and decided to take one of the pictures of my mother. When my parents got married, since it was a second marriage, my mother did not have a big traditional wedding. And so the pictures of her wearing a dress, there wasn't many and I don't have any. My brother came over this past weekend and asked about the pictures. Apparently my grandmother told him that she was bringing me pictures for him and he realized I had taken one of the pictures and got really mad about it and demanded I give it to him. I didn't feel like I needed to give it to him since it was just a picture of our mom. My mom offered to make him a copy and he said that he should have the copy that is the original. He ended up leaving and telling me I was being an a-hole about it. I may be the a-hole but it was a picture of my mom from his parents' wedding day. And when my grandmother brought them for me, I didn't know they were for my brother when I did it. I really do love the picture of my mother in it because she is so young and pretty in it.